Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, Helen Witchley, uh, restoration project. Uh, a few things that we're going to go through today. Um, with Steve the Wood, as you probably can see on the, uh, the Facebook uh, videos. I'm just going to show you now what we did to, um, to Steve the Wood. Bit of a long process, it took us all day. Um, the jig tape took us a day to make, the framework took us a day. Uh, the steamer has been ongoing for about a month now to get everything right. We didn't want really any explosions. Um, you know, steam is really, really dangerous, uh, especially over 100 degrees. It can burn you straight away. So we've done that. It's all safe. I say, so the next thing is one of our Patreons, English Woodlands Timber, has actually given us a piece of wood to test. Uh, these guys we are having all the uh, European oak from, from themselves. I'll leave a link in the description of who they are, where they're from. Um, if any of you guys need any uh, oak, mahogany, teak, etc, etc, for your boat, then uh, these are the guys to call. Got the card here, English Woodlands Timber. I'm going to put a link in the description and the uh, business card on a photo so you guys can see it. Uh, before we go outside, click the notification button, click the subscribe, give us a few thumbs up and let's go to the outside. Let's go. Come on, follow me. This is the banding um, we've made for the back of the wood so we can bend it. Done a uh, angle iron with a hook on top. It's really cool. Uh, so we're going to bolt it in there, every section all the way along, then we can get the right length of wood that we need. We've got a bit of oak here. We're going to test. Um, it's a piece of four by four by three oak. This is what we're going to be using on Helen. Exactly the same piece of wood. We went down to the woodyard uh, in Portsmouth, and uh, with our order, we came back with a, a nice long piece of oak. We've been fabricating the fabricating the uh, jig. We've been doing that all day. As you can see, this is we'll come back. Uh, I'll stand on the uh, on the decking. A bit of better view of what we've done. So if I run you through it. We've got a, a winch so it doesn't get snagged on the back. We've welded some supports to make like a crossbow type of thing going off to there. Welded some uh, plate on there, put a bolt through. Welded all packetry on there to hold the main bar. So what we've got here is a unistrut. As you can see, we've already got a piece of wood, which we're going to actually steam in a minute. This is what we're doing. So the way I've made it is that these brackets will actually move up and down the channel to give us the profile of what would be what. Now it was. That's got off jointing right now. As you know, it's uh, it bends off 10%. So, what I've done, I've gradually increased the angle of the bend so much so, I'm hoping that's 10% of spring back that we can have. What we got with the wires, we've got the winch attached to a trailer winch. That's a hand winch. Uh, that's it up. So we can take up the main slack with that winch. Um, hopefully as much as we can do then with the ratchet, increase the tension even more uh, in case it's too hard to uh, bend. So we'll have more video on that later when we try and actually bend the wood when it comes in and out of the steamer. So that's the jig. 
and then we go on to the, the steamer come this way so we've got the steamer up and running now you can see you've got a quote on the tube stop condensation we'll stop it cond cond condensing and then we've got insulated spout into there now what I've done from the past one is get another water tank cut it as you can see and have the jacket around it so it keeps the heat in um, to give us some proper steam um, filling valve uh, what we're on now uh, 60 degrees so we've been on for half an hour now uh, this is tried and tested flowering yeast sealant and what we're trying to do I'm not going to touch it but the exhaust gases from the burner come out of these holes all the way around so the whole jacket is uh, heated Burner. Very nicely away in there, and hopefully soon producing some steam. So what we're going to do? We want to be steaming this piece of wood today, and putting it in the jig today, and leaving it overnight to set. Um, and then we'll see what what happens, and hopefully the jig works. We know the steamer sort of works. So this is our first test run. Well, hey. So we're uh, 30 minutes in, 45 actually. And we'll see the uh, temperature. Oh, awesome. The steam generator's working a treat. You can all see that, that's mint. 80 degrees, still rising. So we are going to be producing steam very shortly. So then we're sitting here, we've got 45 minutes in, 50 minutes in, and I can see steam. I can see steam. Can you see steam? It's coming out. Whiffs of steam, look, whiffs of steam. We are going, we are, I should have sniffed some steam. Look at that steam. Yeah, I got it there. There we go. So she's boiling, so we'll just let it uh, heat up, go to pressure, and then we'll uh, put our piece of oak in. Right, it's gonna be time now, we're gonna put the wood in. Um, we've got the piece of oak there coming down. So what we do, we've got a piece of four inch, four inch by three inch um, European top quality grade oak. Um, we're going to put it into the steamer. And you can see it's like pouring out. Um, so what we'll do, Mark will... Uh, do you want to put that glove on, buddy? We have to get a glove because this is like really, really hot. I'm going to let him do it because I can video and then we've got the uh, video of what's going. So you can see that's steaming nicely. Just watch for blowback. Look at that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's our steamer. Uh, in the wood she goes. Yeah. Put the cap back on. Nice tight fit, that's what we need. And then what we'll do then, we're uh, gonna slacken the, uh, look, put this, turn that and we can generate some pressure, you see. Um, as you Five can see. Five is 10 past seven. 10 past seven, right. It's 10 past seven, we should be at least three hours steaming. So uh, we'll give half an hour updates, see how we're going. Still, the steamer's working, it's working beautifully. So we're now two hours in. It's been running on its, on its own. Everything looking good. The smell coming out of it is absolutely beautiful. Steamed out. Look what the byproduct is. But yeah, it's uh, running really well. Still burning, very nice there, no problems there. And there, all the way. Awesome. So the next one will be when we actually take the wood out. It's now 11 o'clock and then 
the steam is done, hopefully it's been steaming for three hours now. Um, time's come to uh, see if the steamer and we steam the wood is worked. So, uh, take some gloves on, get over to the jig it as fast as we can because it's getting quite cold. So, uh, first piece of wood to be steamed for Helen and Witchley. Let's go, shall we? Set on that one, you've got to do that one. Yeah, no, no, that's it should. You ain't done. Let's go. In fact, right, that's asking a bit too much because of that one. That's, that's a bend. <laughs> it's looking a really good bend, isn't it? That, that's a bend, bro.
this a piece of three and a half inch oak bent, bent without yeah. splitting. First time on our homemade jig. I'll turn that gas off. Yeah. And that's how you bend a piece of oak one time. So we've got the pulley system working. Uh, the wires attached to the welded ends. As you can see, the profile of the oak compared with the flat board is a beautiful curve. Now this is three and a half inch by four inch oak. Um, what, what are you going to be using for Helen? And I think that is a very successful first try. I mean, look. Look at the angle of that. It's not twisted, it's not split. It's not bent. You can't see the end of the wood. But as you can see, a couple of clamps. And uh, the oak is butted right up to the plates to stop them, to keep it all in line, keep it all in place with the four inch steel band behind it um, this is all homemade we, we haven't bought anything um, with the winch going to that cable on a pulley and back up to that side and I think that's a very good first attempt of steam bending a bit of oak right this is the day where we're going to have left it dry overnight it's a bit rainy so what we're going to do now we're going to relieve the tension off the uh, straps that we've had on all night. So, over look now at the tension. Now this is the we've released the tension off the belt. You can see it's nice and uh, loose now. I thought we'd do take the packets off. That's one off. Take the other one off. So now we're just really, really lying on the clamps. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll take this clamp off first, and if we can look down at the video this way, and we can see what sort of it actually springs back because we've got this spring back, haven't we? What everyone keeps talking about. So let's see what this spring back does. One. That sprung back lovely, hasn't it? Two. Three. There we go guys, one piece of bent wood for the ship. Say that's pretty darn close. Just a bit out there, but so it's only for that back bit anyway. So you up to here for that piece anyway, won't it? Because it goes there. So from there, back is right. It's perfect. What I'm not liking though is that. Why has that happened? So anyone in the comments, let me know why this has happened. The black, it wasn't black when we started. Just clean it and get that black out because we don't want black in it. So there we go from the jig steamer 
to the jig to that yeah so that's the first piece of wood steamed and bent in place for Helen Witchley superb I hope you enjoyed that video of the steam bending of the wood there's a lot more of that to come um, like I said in the, uh, in the start of the video thanks to English Woodlands Timber again JJ he's the man to call um, donning my nice uh, lifeboat hoodie um, yeah click the subscribe button notifications thumbs up followers we've got loads more to do loads more news coming soon Catch you later.